guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to share a blossom. She's such a bad bitch. I mean, I'm gonna show you how to talk like her, how to walk like her, how to be Cheryl Blossom. Just kidding, I'm not gonna show you guys all that. I'm just gonna show you how to get her makeup routine because let's be real, Cheryl, Cheryl's badass, okay? I wish she was my friend in real life because actually she reminds me a lot of myself. I'm very um, standoffish and like, you know? But deep down inside, I care about my friends. I truly do. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Cheryl usually has a really bold red lip and very minimal like eye makeup. So the palette that I'm gonna be using today is the Brown Sugar Palette by ColourPop because this is Cheryl. This is Cheryl in a palette. Cheryl in a palette right here. Um, she keeps her eyelids and, well, her eye makeup matte for the most part, but she kind of smokes it out on the edges. So the first shade that I'm gonna take is the shade Chai. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this all over my upper brow bone and kind of just a little bit down the crease. So after I've done that, I'll go ahead and take my Morphe M514 and I'm going to take the shade Jamocha and I'm just gonna focus this on the, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch brushes here. I'm gonna switch gears here. I'm gonna take the Sigma E33 and I'm gonna go ahead and dip that into Jamocha and just kind of pack this on in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe M514 and then go ahead and take this up here. Um, she usually has like a pretty heavy crease color, but everything else is pretty matte. Sometimes she'll have like a really light shimmer on her lid, um, usually like a champagne color. So I'm just gonna take this on the crease and kind of when I'm doing this, I want to give um, my eye a bigger shape, so I will not take it in this way, but more so take it up towards the brow. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade Chai in the palette, and I'm going to take this on a Morphe 210 brush and just pat this into my lid and take this kind of up a little more to give myself a bigger like eye shape just so that it looks like i have more lid space but i don't really and then i'm going to take the shade sorel in the palette which is the darkest shade and then just focus this really on the outer corner sorry if you guys um hear Latin music in the background. My neighbor is always blasting Latin music at this time. I live in a very Latin area, so that is why. Before people try to come for me, don't come for me, okay? I'm Latin too. I do the same thing. And you really just want to focus this on the outer corner. You don't really want to take it higher than that. I'm just going to take that there. And then that's pretty much for the eyes, guys. Cheryl doesn't really do a heavy eye makeup. Um, I probably went even a little bit heavier than she actually does in the show. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And the reason I'm going to do this is because if you ever see Cheryl Blossom, her skin, her skin is like porcelain. I'm like, how? Is her skin so smooth? Whoever does her makeup should really let us all know about her makeup secrets because I'm like, where and how do you get such smooth skin? She's also probably pretty young, younger than me at least. I'm 28, so you know, that's where my skin problems arise. But I'm like, your skin is like butter, like literal butter. 
And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Punjab, the one that looks like this. And I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand, probably about that much at first. And I'm going to um, tap it in with a Morphe 439, like so. I just want to get it evenly on the brush. I'm just going to keep tapping it out. I really should use like a dish or something for it instead of my, the back of my hand because I'm wasting a lot of product by using the back of my hand because <laughs> it's trying to seep into the back of my hand as well as on the brush. Need a little bit more, so I'll take a little bit more. This is the reason why I should use a dish, really, and not my hands, because I probably wouldn't need more. But oh well, do with what you have, okay? You don't need to go buy a bunch of stuff all the time. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and pack the rest of the foundation on the back of my hand on my beauty blender, and then just really smooth this in. You really want the foundation to seep into your pores, so that is why I go in with the brush first and then do the beauty blender after. I really apologize if you guys can hear this music. I know it's going to be in the background. I'm going to try to edit it out as much as I can, but I know there's going to get some bits and pieces in there where you hear his music. What can I say? My neighbors are lit. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the Bobbi Brown color corrector in the shade Dark Peach. And I'm going to take that on a Mac, Mac, on a Morphe M335. And I'm going to just tap a little bit of this on, not too much, because I already put some of the foundation under my eyes. So it kind of concealed for the most part. I'm going to use my Born This Way concealer in the shade Light Medium. No, Natural Beige. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this on um, but these concealers are actually pretty thick and then I'm going to actually, you know, I'm going to mix these two because this one's a little bit darker than my skin and then shortbread is a little bit lighter than my skin so I'm going to make shortbread and natural beige. I'm going to take my Morphe G2 and just blend that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Beauty Blender and just blend that out even further. The reason why I like to conceal with the G2 first and then the Beauty Blender after is because I feel like Beauty Blender will pick up all the excess product and the brush will lay and give me the coverage that I need. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little more of the Born This Way and just dab that on my little blemish that I have here. Let's have a feel. I'm just going to sit there and let that get tacky a little bit. And while we're letting that get tacky, I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Light Medium and just take a little bit on the back of the cap. And I'm going to go ahead and take some of that on my Beauty Blender and just put that right under my eyes. And then what I'm going to do is Chanel doesn't really have like contour or any of that stuff at least that i see so i'm going to do just a light amount of laguna bronzer just so that i can give myself a little color not even necessarily to look like super bronze and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the fenty beauty crush on cupid blush and um Cheryl blossom usually has like a really like flush of pinky on her cheeks or like um more so in the red pinky tones I rarely ever see her in like brown tones and if she does it's like like a burgundy um so 
So I'm going to take a little bit of this on my beauty blender and I'm just going to pack this in. Whoa. I wonder... Wow, this one's a lot nicer than the other one that I used the other day. I'm just going to blend a little bit of this up here. Up into this area. Wow, this is really bright. Oh my God. Let me tone this down. Once we're done with that, I kind of want to set... Um, the cream blush a little bit and I'm going to use the Bella Pierre Cosmetics in the shade Desert Rose. A little of this goes a really long way. It's like a <laughs> powder form. Uh, very similar to the color that I just put on so that's why I'm going to use this. I'm like looking on my pathfinder because I want to make sure I'm not spilling it. Um, I'm just going to pack that on like so. Just to set it. I don't want it to add more color. And you don't need to set it with the, for cream blushes. I'm just choosing to set it because I feel like sometimes it uh, disappears if you don't set it, so, or disappears faster than it would if you don't set it with something. Like you can even set it with a translucent pattern. That one's just similar to the shade that I'm wearing. So that's why I use that one. And I kind of want to tone this down a little tiny bit more. And then, you can go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use the Dior Show 3D Lash Primer. And just go ahead and curl these. I truly am a believer of lash primer, you guys. Like, I, I kid you not, my lashes are so bad if I don't use lash primer. And I feel like I just messed them up when I was getting extensions because my lashes actually used to be pretty decent. But I'm just gonna let the mascara dry a little bit and I'm going to take the M515 and take this shade Sorel in the ColourPop palette and just put this right here. Just focus it right underneath here. And then take a little bit of that mascara and just curl my lower lashes. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Champagne Pop and just dust a little bit of highlighter, nothing crazy, just a very tiny bit here. Just to give myself a little glow. I'm going to take a little bit down the center of my nose. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And then what I need to do is just pop on my fake lashes and then my lips and then we're done, girl. Or Cheryl. I don't think I'd let you guys know that these are Ardell Wispies that I'm putting on. And now for the statement piece because this is what makes Cheryl blossom. Her perfect, beautiful red lips. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and give myself a bigger top lip. So I'm going to overline my lips. I use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil to do this, and it's in the shade 69. And then I'm going to take the Hourglass Lipsticks. I don't know what they were called. They're these. 
and I'm going to take the shade. Wow, oh, really didn't have the name of it on here. Um, I can tell you the shade that I got it in. I will. Oh, it's in the inside. It's called I Crave. And I'm just going to carefully follow the line I already placed. And then, boom, you are transformed into Cheryl Mother Blossom, okay? And then this is the finished look. I am Cheryl Blossom, dating TT. I need my friend right here with the purple hair. Give it to me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and my recreation of Cheryl Blossom. Go ahead and hit the little like button if you did and hit subscribe if you want to watch more videos with me. Bye guys, see you guys next time.